March 29th, 1919, the Ringling Brothers Circus bought Barnum and Bailey's Circus to perform <clears throat> to form the Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey's Circus, the greatest show on earth. Hi. That was a little snippet from my P.T. Barnum book talk about the Ringling Brothers. And since I learned about this P.T. Barnum dude, I really got interested into the circus and all of that. So I decided to do some research on the Ringling Brothers and where the, the Ringling Brothers bought Barnum. That's where the Ringling Brothers start for me. So grab a snack, get comfy, and we're about to get into this information about the Ringling Brothers. By the way, it's updated by me for some of the more recent events because the book had up into a certain uh, time of the Ringling Brothers stuff, so yeah, I updated it. In 1919, I believe it was, when the Ringling Brothers bought Barnum and Bailey Circus, there were five Ringling Brothers actually running that circus at that time. Alf Ringling, Al Ringling. Charles Ringling, John John Ringling, and Otto Ringling. Over the years, the population, or the five of the brothers, started to decrease. Because, you know, old age gets you, and they passed away, sadly. So, in 1967, Irvin Feld and Israel Feld, um, they acquired the Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey on November 11th, 1967. I'm looking at my notes over here, by the way. One year after, in 1968, Irvenfeld creates the uh, Institute for Clowns, the Ringling Bros, and Barnum and Bailey Clown College. Yes, a clown college, how you can learn to be a clown and perform in the circus. Haha, <laughs> what goofy. Also in 1968, Irvenfeld, um, he bought Circus Williams. Circus Williams is Germany's most famous circus at the time. And the only reason they bought Circus Williams is to obtain the sensational Gunther Gebel Williams, the world's greatest animal trainer, so he'd like, uh, have the lions do tricks, so that's pretty great. Correction, tigers, not lions. Next year, in 1969, the Felds create a second touring unit, which expands the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus by twice. So, the original circus, times two. Shortly after, Kenneth Feld joins the company, working alongside his father, Irvin. Which, uh, that was a father and son kind of thing, which made it the first ever father and son duo to own or produce The Greatest Show on Earth. A three-year hop, 1973, Irvin Feld and Kenneth Feld Introduce American audiences to Michu, the world's smallest man in the world. Wait. Tongue twister. In 1976, which is like three years after, Ursula Botcher and her ten giant polar bears joined the circus in um, the 106th edition of the Ringling Brothers Circus. In 1978, Kenneth Feld introduces the Globe of Steel to a nation a nationwide audience. This unique daredevil performance features motorcyclists whirling within inches of each other. It's uh, you know, one of those big spears that were made out of metal where people would drive their motorcycles, so ah, that's pretty cool. Nineteen eighty. Irvin Feld and Kenneth Feld both co produce the Pretty much biggest musical, um, the Broadway hit musical, Barnum. Barnum, you know about P.T. Barnum, my last book talk. Come on, you know. In 1982, on July 10th, 1982, Flying Trapeze artist Miguel Vasquez completes the first quadruple somersault in performance history. Irvin Feld passes away, and Kenneth Feld continues the legacy of the greatest show on earth. 1984, did I say that? Yeah. 1985, the living unicorn is introduced to the greatest show on earth. Media from all over the world are caught up in the spectacle and magic of the fascinating creature. 
Googling a picture, it's pretty much just a sheep with an ice cream cone stuck on his head. In 1986, the Shanghai Acrobatic Troupe becomes the first acrobatic group of artists from the People's Republic of China to perform with Fringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey. In 1987, Kenneth Feld introduces the, the Elephant King Tusk, the largest land mammal performing since P.T. Barnum introduced Jumbo in 1882. 1988, Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey embarks on its first tour of Japan. In 1889, Gunther Gabel Williams embarks on his first farewell tour after a quarter of a century and never miss a show in over 12,000 performances. Mongolian circus performers, the first to appear in the Western world, joined the greatest show on Earth. 1995, which is pretty recent, Feld Entertainment introduces the Ringling Brothers ba and Barnum and Bailey Elephant Conservation. 1996, Ariana the Living Arrow dazzles the audiences, creating a media... What's it in my notes? Firestorm reviled only by the Living Unicorn a decade earlier. 1997. The All Access pre-show is added to the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey show. In 1999, the audiences are introduced to Jonathan Lee Iverson. Sorry about that. I had to look. The first African American ringmaster to and youngest to ever be on the Greatest Show on Earth. 2000, Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey becomes the first and only show business attraction to perform nonstop into its third century of entertaining. Also in 2000, Sarah, at age 22, Sarah the Tiger Whisperer is added to the greatest show on earth, and she whispers to um, Bengal Tigers, which is very nice. 2001. Nicole Feld joins the company, working alongside her father, Kenneth Feld. Kenneth Feld and Nicole Feld become the first father-daughter duo to co-produce the Gr Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey Greatest Show on Earth. 2004, Kenneth and Nicole Feld create a third circus unit to expand the Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey Circus. 2004, Nicole Feld becomes the first solo female to produce producer in the history of Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey. 2004, Alana Feld joins the company and starts advertising The Greatest Show on Earth. 2009, together Nicole Feld and Alana Feld begin producing Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey presents Barnum 200, the 140th edition of The Ringling Brothers. Marking the first time a sister team produces the greatest show on earth. Sis sister team. 2010. Juliet Fell joins the company working alongside her father and sister to market and sporadically introduced the greatest show on earth to new audiences. 2012. Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey Circus set the Guinness World Record for the largest pie fight. It's probably be between the clowns. They're all clowning around. 2015, Feld Interna Entertainment announces the Asian elephants will be removed from the traveling circus. May 1st, in 2016, Ringling Brothers Asian elephants perform the show for the last time ever. Also in 2016, Alana Feld produces the 146th edition of the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey presents Out of This World. In 2017, last year, Christian Michel Wilson is, joins the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus and is the first female ringmaster to perform on The Greatest Show on Earth. 2017, on January 14th, Feld Entertainment announces that the Ringling Brothers will be shutting down and there won't be any more shows. And in also 2017, last year, final performance of the Ringling Brothers, Barnum and Bailey in Uniondale, New York. That's it. That's all I have to tell about the Ringling Brothers Circus. Now I want to know, 
Has anyone in the classroom right now ever seen a show or been to a show of the Ringling Brothers, Barnum and Bailey? And if so, how did you like it? Anyway, this will wrap up my presentation, my book talk, and I really enjoyed doing it. So, let's roll the end credits. The quote will also be there, too. So, quote, end. Yeah. See ya.